How about those Chiefs? You know, Chiefs Kingdom very passionate, especially when it comes to the art and mural celebrating our team. But an artist mural on his house is ordered to come down in KCK. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling explains why and how the owner is taking it. It's indoors, so. Painting is a passion for Chris Chansey. Labor of love, that's what I do. After the Chiefs' big Super Bowl win, he spent 60 hours painting this work of art on the side of his house in KCK. People come by still every day and, and snap pictures or just wave whenever I'm outside. So it's, it's nice. It brings this, bring this little community together, it seems to me. But it's not getting a lot of love from the city. Got a letter from the city that told me they would appreciate it if I'd remove it from my house. The letter states an inspection conducted at the property revealed violations, such as installing an illuminated mural sign on the property in a residential district and must be corrected by the end of the month. I couldn't believe it just with everything going on and I looked at it as a piece of um, celebration art, not actually a signage or um, anything bad. Neighbors tell us they don't mind the mural. I think it's a nice looking mural. There's nothing wrong with it. We reached out to the unified government about the issue. They said, quote, fans can all agree this Chiefs mural is awesome. Unfortunately, murals, including awesome ones like this, are not allowed in residential areas per the city's code of ordinances, end quote. So I just assume it was art instead of just a sign and didn't have any verbiage on it or anything like that. Chansey says he'll comply with the order, but this mural may live on as someone wants to cut it out and keep it. There's a gentleman that's a friend of mine who's been teasing me about purchasing it and uh, replacing it and fixing it all. Reporting in KCK, Nick Starling, 41 Action.